justifying this impeachment inquiry have pointed to former Speaker Pelosi, and they point to the fact that she didn't hold a vote initially as precedent for why they're not holding a full vote in the House. How do you respond to that? Well, we did hold a vote uh, in the full House, um, but just look at what Kevin McCarthy said 10 days ago. He said that this wasn't going to be done unilaterally by one person until the most extreme members of his caucus, until he has dinner with Donald Trump, until he huddles with Marjorie Taylor Greene to find out which direction he has to go. Then and only then does he decide that they're going to do it alone. And he goes back on what he said 10 days ago uh, to start these impeachment proceedings. This is all about distraction and delays, but it is clear the motto for the Republican conference is no evidence, no votes, no problem just business as usual. That is who they are. Uh, that is exactly what he has done. By the way, I mean, this is a song that we've heard before, too. You know, it took them about 10 days to back away from the agreement, the Bipartisan Budget Act agreement, that Kevin McCarthy agreed to and signed on to. And then the most extreme members of his caucus said that they wanted to cut more. So they went, so they instructed appropriators to cut $100 billion more. Um, so I guess the question is, if every 10 days he's going to change his mind, um, what's he going to say today, and shouldn't we just wait two weeks and then see what the outcome uh, might be? Uh, so there is a, a pretty big difference, and I agree with Republican Ken Bob, who called this, quote, impeachment theater. And that's because this is completely impeachment theater. There is no additional power that... The Republican Congress has because they simply call this impeachment inquiry, and that's because the Department of Justice under the Trump administration issued a ruling saying that unless there is a vote of the House, there is no additional power of the House for doing impeachment inquiry. So the Democrats took a vote of the House and we passed it, and that's why the Democrats were able to actually get uh, additional powers from impeachment inquiry. There is nothing different from calling this impeachment inquiry versus not calling impeachment inquiry is exactly the same thing. Just very quickly, just follow up. So based on that ruling, would you argue that this inquiry is invalid? Or the, that of the DOJ yeah. opinion? Sorry. Kevin McCarthy can call it anything he wants, but it doesn't give any additional powers to the Republican Congress whatsoever. Marianne? Just to follow up on that, Republicans are claiming that because this is an impeachment inquiry, they have more tools to be able to investigate or subpoena. You've obviously served on the January 6th committee. That's different than impeachment inquiry, but Democrats have also seen, have been involved in impeachment inquiries before. Is it your understanding that there actually are more tools? Does it really give investigators more powers of any kind? Because that's what Republicans are claiming. We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and, and look, they're going to be wrapped around this axle for a while because they're kind of making this up as they, as they go. Uh, it's pl pretty clear that you know, they have no path, no no objective here other than to carry uh, former President Trump's political water. That's what this is about. What I can tell you is impeachment, too, that, that Vice Chair Ted Lieu served on with the January 6th committee. The common thread there was there was votes of the House in a bipartisan way. If you want to have success in this in this town, if you want to genuinely provide oversight and, and seek the truth, then a bipartisan show of support is is how you do it. So you'd have to talk to the White House and the Department of Justice as to what powers um, that that the Republican conference has with this, you know, inquiry versus a vote. That's not uh, what we're here to discuss today. But what I can tell you is the American people um, see right through this. There is no evidence. There is no bipartisanship. This is strictly an effort by Marjorie Taylor Greene and the most extreme members of the Republican conference to guide Kevin McCarthy wherever they need him to go. And even then, they have said this isn't enough. Uh, they're already connecting the government shutdown, you know, to this, um, and it, because it will never be enough to the most extreme members of that conference.